Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. I'm your host, Ron Nicoletti. It is Wednesday. It is New Year's week. We're going to have a lot of fun at Gulfstream Park. we got 10 races to look at. Let's go right to those track and weather conditions. Main track fast, the turf course firm, the first race, a six furlong claimer. These are Phillies and Mans, three-year-olds and up, which have never won two races. Jockey on the number five is Arnie Fontanez. Scratch number six, exclusively Dixie. off and it's Bucho Media who comes out of the gate the best on the inside it's Starship Galaxy between those two is True's got speed and now grabs the lead up the back stretch and they're followed by Pam Pam and Samus to the inside then Starship Tammy Cynthia's new car is on the far outside four lengths ahead of Sherry's win who trails the field early and there's a half mile to go it is true in front through an opening quarter mile in 22 and two fifth seconds. The lead is three quarters of a length. Mucho Media running in second on the far turn. And then to the outside comes Starship Tammy in third. Starship Galaxy fourth on the inside. And then it's Pam Pam, Cynthia's new car. And right behind them comes Samus and Sherry's win. Is true on top as the field makes their way to the top of the stretch, opening up now to a five length lead. Is true getting away after a 45 and four half mile. Five lengths ahead of Pam Pam running in second. Starship Galaxy, Starship Tammy next. Samus on the outside now moves up a couple of spots into third. Steady in traffic was Mucho Media, but it's Is True in front. And Is True and Jose Caraballo win in hand. Samus was second, and then came Pam Pam, Sherry's win, and Starship Tammy. The favorite number two is true, wins in pace, $6 even, owned and trained by Ricky Griffin, ridden to victory today by Jose Caraballo. Race two, one mile on the turf. It's Maiden Philly, a two-year-old. Full field of 12 runners going to the post. They're off. And it's Rontos Lily who comes out the best and goes for the front with Love the Kitten and Lake Turkana to the outside. And there goes Tio up between horses to be a part of the early pace as well. Determined Lady is away running in fifth. Orzo settles back and saves ground into that turn running along in sixth position early on. And then comes American Dimples in between horses. On the outside, it's Tis Over. Chant for Kitten saves all the ground there. About eight lengths off the lead early on. Then Regal Roma, followed by Hypernation to the outside, and Beauty and Light is last. A 24 flat first quarter for Rontos Lily, who heads on to the back stretch with a two length lead over Tio. And then comes Determined Lady, followed by Love the Kitten to the outside. Outside of them, Lake Turkana runs in fifth and is five and a half lengths off the lead as Orzo drafts in behind horses with six lengths to make up. And then it's Tis Over, American Dimples is after that. And then comes Chant for Kitten, followed by Regal Roma to the outside, Beauty and Light, and the trailer Hypernation, a 49 flat half mile. It's been Run Toast Lily so far. And a long shot leads the field into the far turn, a two-length lead. And then it's Love the Kitten running in second and edging up a bit closer. Lake Turkana continues to tra travel smoothly, third on the outside. Then comes Tio, followed by Determined Lady. Orzo is now guided to the outside for a clear path, but has four lengths to make up. And they're into the stretch. Rontos Lily yet to lose this lead. Rontos Lily comes to the eighth pole, now two and a half lengths in front. Love the Kitten, Lake Turkana trying to close in, then Determined Lady on the inside, and Regal Roma, Rontos Lily still there. Rontos Lily coming home a wire to wire winner at 25 to 1. And then it was Love the Kitten, followed by a photo between Lake Turkana and Determined Lady, then Regal Roma. Number five, Rontos Lily takes some gate to wire and pays $60 to win. Owned by Rontos Racing Stable Corporation, trained by Enrique Sanchez, and ridden to victory today by MSCL Jaramillo. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back for the third race in just a couple of moments.
Welcome back. Race number three, five and a half furlongs. These are made in Claimer, Philly, two-year-olds. The claiming price, $12,500. Off. And it is Joyous Affair who breaks out on top. Goes to the lead with Lucky Greatness in inaction away second and third. In behind them, breezing on by Miss Niagara and then Shakespeare's Girl to the outside. A length and a half more to My Aunt Lily than it's Love Like Mine along the rail as they continue up the backstretch. Under My Skin is next, Monkey Mo to the outside and then it's Jackie Rock in Tropical Rhythm. Trails the field through a 22 and two first quarter mile. Around the far turn, Joyous Affair on top of length. In action, second to the outside. Lucky Greatness tracks them in third. Now comes under a ride, three lengths off the lead joined by Shakespeare's girl to the outside who now is up into third and going wide but gaining ground on the top two at the top of the stretch joyous affair turning for home in front in action is second Shakespeare's girl third to the outside Miss Niagara is down at the rail trying to make late run also breezing on by is coming on too it is joyous affair in front in action to the outside Miss Niagara coming up the rail breezing on by is fourth coming down to the line and it's going to be Miss Niagara to get there first over in action. Joyous Affair steadied late. And then came Breezing on by in My Aunt Lily. Number six, Miss Niagara crosses the wire first, but is disqualified in place of the third. Cut of the first was number 12. In action, paying $6.60 to win. Owned by Carlos Aloya, trained by Dan Peter, and ridden to victory today by Luis Saez. Race number four is a one-mile allowance optional claimer for a Phillies two-year-olds to scratch the number two smart shopping, the nine-to-five favorite, number three, Sophia's Song. They're off. And away to a good start, it's Silent Prayer who comes out running well. On the inside, Sophia's Song with some early speed, too. And on the far outside, Baby I'm Worth It and a Rain are going up as the field makes their way out of the chute, tightly packed on the lead. It's Silent Prayer on the inside with a narrow advantage as they come out of the chute. Little Priscilla now second to the outside. Between those two, she takes heart, moves up into third. And then it's Baby I'm Worth It fourth. A Rain is in fifth, followed by Sophia's Song on the inside as they continue the run up the backstretch. Chief Attraction is in between horses than will be magical and VA Haluna and that first quarter was in 23 and 1 up the back stretch they go silent prayer the leader she takes heart second on the outside at the rail it's Sophia's song then little Priscilla and chief attraction fifth past a 45 and three half mile will be magical is down on the inside progressing within four lengths of the lead after that comes a rain baby I'm worth it is dropped back and then VA Haluna around the far turn the rails open for Sophia's song and Javier Castellan sends her on through and Sophia's song has taken the lead as they come to the quarter pole on top now over silent prayer in second and now coming on is will be magical who switches to the outside and is now second as they come to the final furlong Sophia's song with something in reserve here two and a half lengths clear of will be magical and the others have been left behind it is Sophia's song Sophia's song and Javier Castellano pulling away impressively here will be Magical's going to be second. Then came V.A. Haluna, Silent Prayer, and Little Priscilla. Number three, Sophia Song cruises to victory, pays $5.80, owned by Janice Sittard and Abraham Hadid, trained by Sittard and ridden to victory today by Javier Castellano. Race number five, six furlongs. These are maiden two-year-olds. Scratch the three, first a thought. Scratch the 11, town policy. Scratch number 15, high mischief. The jockey on the 16, Joel Rosario. They're off. And a very clean start here. It is two times book who comes out the best. Pinstripe on the inside is moving up into second position, but two times book is quicker and gets away. And then it's the long walk on the outside, away running in third. Behind them, Mr. Smith is fourth. And then it's Gnocchi in fifth, racing five lengths off the lead. And now Pinstripe is guided to the outside of the front runner at the half-mile pole. 
And they're being funneled by Tio Pancho, who's about five and a half lengths off the lead early on as the field makes their way around the far term. Habersham Village is next. In between horses, Main Street Movie is moving up. And then comes Eric's Talisman to the outside, followed by Sir Hanoon. At the back are Absolute Pinnacle and Palm Door. And they make their way toward the quarter pole here. And keeping the rail in the lead is two times book. Pinstripe alongside second. And right behind them is Mr. Smith, who's saving all the ground, waiting for running room, and has it now as there's an opening on the inside. Side. On the far outside, the long walk is in contention too. And now Pinstripe has taken the lead. Pinstripe in front, pulling away from the long walk. Mr. Smith on the inside is next, but it is Pinstripe. Pinstripe and Javier Castellano pulling away to win it. Clear under the wire from Mr. Smith. Then the long walk, Eric's talisman in two times book. The favorite number one Pinstripe. Really nice performance. Pays $4 to win, owned by Eclipse Thoroughbred Partners, trained by Todd Pletcher, and that gives jockey Javier Castellano his second victory on the card. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back for race number six. Welcome back. Sixth race, six furlongs. These are maiden uh, two-year-olds. Their claim is the claiming price $12,500. A full field of 12 runners. Please note the nine is a gelding. They're off. Anderson's AP stumbled coming out of the gate, and it is Alley Car Flash who takes the early lead. And then it's Ice Coffee on the inside, moving up into second position. Splitting horses is Swag Bag, and then Shape of My Heart on the inside. Cugino Michael is back there in sixth, about six lengths off the lead. Then comes the favorite, Don't Make Me Cry, who's in mid pack early on, just ahead of Freedom for DLT, Warrior's Legacy to the outside. Behind them is Symbol Mast, and then it's El Shaddai and Dos Aventureros at the back after a 22 and two opening quarter mile. Around the far turn, Alley Car Flash on top. Leads the way a length and a half to Ice Coffee in second, and then Anderson's AP. A ground saving run for Shape of My Heart as Swag Bag circles up on the outside. Don't Make Me Cry is getting going now. Six lengths off the lead and progressing well as they come toward the top of the stretch. They have to come and get Alley Car Flash. Alley Car Flash by two and a half at the top of the stretch. Ice Coffee, Don't Make Me Cry continues to gain on the outside, and then Shape of My Heart along the rail. Alley Car Flash to catch with a furlong to run. Don't make me cry. Closing in. It's going to be these two. Alley car flash. Don't make me cry. Still coming. These two down to the wire together. It looks like don't make me cry. Got up in the last stride with alley car flash right on the wire too. Then shape of my heart and iced coffee. Number five. Don't make me cry. Gets up under the shadow of the wire and gives jockey Javier Castellano his third victory on the card. Owned by Dennis Federico and A.G. Mancino and trained by Marcus Vitale. The seventh race, one mile on the turf. These are maiden claimers. They're two-year-olds. The claiming price, $35,000. Scratch the 14, Disco Bill. Scratch the number 16, Patty Ryan. They're off. Retangled start there for move forward. Forever Die is going out to the front. Alongside So You Think You're a Romeo away in second. Telling Tony goes up with them. These three across the track. And then comes Papa Pig, who's running in fourth with Sweet Bee DJ, now slipping through an opening on the inside. Totally Evil is next by another two. And then Hat Attack in Dividend. A break of another four and a half back to Templar Warrior. Hail Cepheus to the outside. And then it's Ten Guitars, followed by Move Forward, who has moved out of last ahead of Follow the Soul and White Cape 23 and four was the quarter. Onto the back stretch, forever die the leader, telling Tony, pressing the pace on the outside. They're on even terms up front. Sweet Bead DJ is two lengths off of them, running in third. Totally evil follows in fourth. So you think you're a Romeo is fifth, four and a half lengths to make up, but clear from Hat Attack. 
And then it's Papa Pig to the outside. Behind them is Dividend, who's got seven lengths to make up as they continue their run up the backstretch of 48 and two half mile. White Cape is beginning to make an impact now. And White Cape going by horses on the outside. Just went by Dividend and Papa Pig and continues to progress on the far turn. Up front, Forever Die is the leader, telling Tony three quarters of a length behind. Sweet B DJ sent along outside of them, totally evil. White Cape continues steady progress on the far outside. Dividend is making his run down toward the rail as they come toward the top of the stretch. Forever Die turns for home in front. Dividend is slipped through on the inside and has now moved up into second. White Cape trying to go with Dividend. These two are coming after Forever Die. White Cape and Dividend to the front. Dividend and White Cape. Dividend's on the inside. White Cape's on the outside. Side. White Capes in front. Dividend fights on. White Capes got it. White Cape over Dividend. Then Forever Die. A late bid from 10 guitars may have got up for fourth outside of Hat Attack. Number 12, White Cape closes stoutly and pays $34.60 to win. Owned by Harvey Clark. Trimmed by Michael Matz. The first time starter. Ridden by Rafael Hernandez. The eighth race, one mile and one sixteenth on the turf. These are claimants three-year-olds and upwards who have never won three races or three-year-olds scratch 15 and 16. They're off. And it's Dreamin' of Clarice who comes out running well. There goes East Rock on the outside up to grab the lead. And East Rock to the front. And then it's Dominate away third on the far outside and moving up. Blame it on Tekela's next. Racing in mid-pack and inside of Colton's Honor. And then to the outside it's Boom Boom Frankie as they make their way toward that first turn. Let's wrap it up is running next. Running in mid-pack here about seven lengths off the lead. Saving all the ground there is Ratnik in the inside. And then it's Call Up the Chief. Break of another two lengths more back to Spring About, who's going up on the far outside. General Shama next, and then I'm Wide Awake, and at the back of the field, Corinthian Summer and Umberto. 23-2 and two was the quarter. They're racing on to the back stretch with East Rock in front, and Dominate second, three-quarters of a length behind. And then it's the pair of Dreamin' of Clarice and Colton's Honor right next to each other, clear of Boom Boom Frankie after a 48 flat half mile. Then let's wrap it up. Ratnik on the inside is next. Springabout's going up on the far outside as they continue their run for the far turn. And then it's Blame It on Tequila, followed by Call Up the Chief. And in behind horses, General Shama, Corinthian Summers down on the inside. I'm wide awake at Umberto. Around the far turn, and it is still East Rock. East Rock has gone three quarters in one, 12 and three, and leads the way by two coming to the top of the stretch. Let's wrap it up. Has circled up into contention, second on the outside. Cutting the corner is Dreamin' of Clarice. Dominate is fourth. Into the final furlong, and here comes. Let's wrap it up. Out alongside of East Rock. East Rock, and let's wrap it up past the 16th pole together. General Shama makes a late bid into third, but it's going to be let's wrap it up to beat East Rock on the wire. And then it was General Shama. I'm wide awake and dreaming of Clarice. Number 13, let's wrap it up. Scores a perfectly timed ride by jockey Paco Lopez. Pays $26.40. Owned by Drawing Away Stable. Trained by Phil Serpy. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back for the late daily double. Welcome back. Our ninth race of the afternoon is a five furlong starter optional claimer for three year olds and upward. Scratch number one, Moonshine Sipper. Scratch number five, All Star Red. And scratch both main track only, number 14 and number 15. They're off. And it is Moonwalker and Bold Thunder, and they're joined on the inside by Colonel Red. These three out for the lead together. Simon Bar Sinister is away running in fourth on the inside. Then comes Imperial Robin in fifth. They're followed by All About Yasim sixth as they race for the far turn. Mr. Lightning Boy is there on the outside, and then comes Keeping It Zeal, who's in traffic and just steadied hard going into the turn. And then Partly Mocha, who's about eight lengths off the lead. 
And right next to Partly Mocha is Shadow Rock, and at the back of the field is Padilla. 21-1 and one that first quarter mile, and Bold Thunder's out there winging now. Bold Thunder has opened up. Opened up a four-and-a-half length lead coming to the top of the stretch. Moonwalker, second to the outside. And then comes Colonel Red cutting the corner. Farther out, all about Yasum, and now making a bid on the inside is Partly Mocha, who got through on the rail, but is well behind front-running Bold Thunder, whose strides are shortening. And here comes Shadow Rocket on the outside, Mitch. Uh, Padilla, Shadow Rock Padilla, bobbing heads under the wire. And then it was partly Mocha and a photo with Bold Thunder. Number six, Shadow Rock gets the photo and pays $15.80, owned by Richard Bondi and Dennis Smith, trained by Scooter Dickey and ridden to victory today by Corey Lannery. Tenth and final race, seven and a half furlongs on the turf. These are made in claim as Phillies and Mares, three-year-olds and up. Scratch the two, scratch the number 16, the five to two favorite, number 12, Reagan's Odyssey. They're off. Not a good start at all for Descarado, who's going to be pulled up out of the race after that start. It is Hillbilly Babe on the outside shooting out to the front. Forever Lily is away running in second position. These two will take them into the turn, and they kick clear three and a half from Reagan's Odyssey, who's third, moving for the turn. Then Brightly Mine moving up alongside of Cat Lucky. Starship Hostility is down on the inside. Then Association right alongside of Lady Ani and hard to picture outside of them. Three to Sister Superior. And then comes Rock Hard Lady, Cape Ann to the inside, and Starship Stash, and again pulled up is Desk. Colorado, uh, 23 in one first quarter. The field running up the backstretch with Hill Billy Babe, a 70 to one long shot, opening up a four and a half length lead here. And then it's Forever Lily running in second by two and a half. Reagan's Odyssey follows in third. Then Cat Lucky followed on the outside by Brightly Mine getting going. Starship Hostility dropping back a bit on the inside. Around the far turn, Hill Billy Babe's lead is down to a half a length. Forever Lily now draws even. Reagan's Odyssey is there. And then comes Brightly Mine. Starship Hostility getting back into it with an inside run. Then comes Cat Lucky, Sister Superior to the outside. And they're into the stretch. And it is Reagan's Odyssey. Odyssey. Reagan's Odyssey has pulled away here to a three-length lead from Starship Hostility in second. And then comes Forever Lily in third, followed by Brightly Mind to the outside. They're coming down to the line, and it's going to be Reagan's Odyssey to win going away to Starship Hostility. And then it was Sister Superior, Brightly Mind, and Forever Lily. The favorite gets the nightcap, number 12, Reagan's Odyssey, owned by Renzo Bontempo, trained by Marcus Vitale, ridden to victory today by Luis Saez. The pick five, five of five, seven thousand nine hundred fifty-five dollars and fifty-five cents. Four of five, fifty-six dollars and eighty cents. In the rainbow six, six of six, eight thousand three hundred fifty dollars seventy-six cents. We'll have a carryover going into New Year's Eve of forty-three thousand eight hundred sixty dollars and eighty-five cents. And there's a super high five carryover of one thousand seven hundred fifty-seven dollars and forty-nine cents. And that wraps up Wednesday's card. Remember, on Thursday, New Year's Eve, we'll have 10 exciting races. Our first post, 12.35, and in the evening, a party in the park. Come and join us at Gulfstream Park. It's going to be a lot of fun. And on Friday, New Year's Day, don't forget, 11 races, a special post of 12.05 p.m. Good night. Good night.